As I said in the update video, we're gonna continue Wise Man's Grandchild. I don't care if the first video didn't hit for 10k, it did. It exceeded expectations, to be honest. You guys did your job. Unfortunately, the algorithm didn't try to test the video and spread it to a wider audience. But for community for alone, I applaud you guys. And for SAO enjoyers, I'm sorry. We're going to finish this in the span of this and next week. And then we'll get started on Season 3 content. Let's start Wise Man's Grandchild Episode 2. She's the one with the huge personalities. And the opening made it look like she just gets cooked. Like, this girl gets cooked the entire time. And the blue-haired girl and, she, and him is like the main couple or something. It's not like Maria's flat. うそ。あれだけ体術が使えるのに魔法使い。で、学院生だね。お互いに頑張ろう。私、出身に入学目指すから。ちょっとどうしたのよ、シシリ。え、うわ。えっと、ハイチェック。おお、ノー、ディスイ
this old is on the Muko? Oh, right. I didn't realize it's Uncle. Oh, you just called him Uncle, by the way. You you literally just said Uncle this in front of everybody. Now what are people gonna think? Muko? Uncle? <laughs> Uncle? This old is on the Muko. What is she old? That is to Oh, wait, wait, wait. Of course he already knows. Yeah, yeah. That's why he already knows. Because uncle, his dad has already told him about, you know, Shin. So that's why he's so casual about this. Incest? Incest? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> My cousin. Kurt? They know him too? Ooh, colorful new characters. With all your might. You asked for it. Hi! Oh! I just met the old man. <laughs> Bro thinks he did something! He, he's so proud of it too! He's so proud of it too! I thought it'd be like, oh no, you know, don't look bad on me, but it's like, oh, look at me, lady, sparkling razzle dazzle. Really? Even the reaction from them, they said, whoa! Like, like. The expectations for entrance applicants are so low. It's so low. This was actually impressive to them. <laughs> Shin is actually cringing out of embarrassment. <laughs> Bro, fucking tap dancing. <laughs> The best. This, this guy is the best one so far. Uh, everyone else, it was like, eh, it's all right. This, this guy's entire fucking incantation, the whole dance, is started with the tap dancing, bro. Pop, pop, pop. Little rock pebbles, bro. Little rock pebbles. <laughs> Why? Why is everything? This is amazing right now. Yeah, he he did call out their incantations. It's just like fundamentally different from what he is used to. So now it's time for him to go all out. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, under control. They were prepared for him. What's he gonna do? <gasps> Oh, Incantationless! <laughs> we did! We did! <laughs> yeah, behold the true power. They were actually fucking frozen solid, bro. They saw this shit. One little flick, it was so easy. Damn, we are. This is basically like Mushoku Tensei advantage are like times 1000, huh? <laughs> Wise man, grandson! We got it, right? Wonder how high Maria scored. Rank one student, baby. Cool. Yeah, the groove. Rank one. Valedictory speech, kind of. Yeah. So many flowers. I'm so glad someone like August exists because he's obviously the noble side and he's actually a really good person. So even if Kurt's gonna do some dumb shit, at least we have the backs of like the people that actually do matter. He's kind of teasing us, right? Because the speech. I wonder what kind of speech he's gonna give, right? He's gotta. He's probably gonna come in like humble, but like, knowing this show and so far, like every time he's done something, people are just like nut. So even the speech is gonna be a power fantasy in itself. Maybe he'll be humble and everyone's gonna be like, wow, what a nice guy, but like, who knows what's gonna happen. What did you score? 
Were you number two? What does it say? What are the names? These are hieroglyphics! <gasps> Bullshit. Oh, Kurt got placed into A class, not an S. Ooh, I thought you're a, I thought you were an important noble, man. Yeah, skill issue. <laughs> Yeah, because like he was like enchanting his own like shoes before too, right? In episode one. He's been like, so what's the main three? It's something like just like practical magic is already cracked that. Enchantment through the ordinary language? I I forget the exact there was like three separate things, right? There was overall magic, and then there's craftsmanship. There's enchantments, and then craftsmanship, and then there's, of course, just practical magic, like combat magic. But those three, he, he was it swordsmanship? Was it swordsmanship? Magic, swordsmanship, enchantments. Those are the three things that usually people excel at one. But like Shin has all three. That was like the premise of episode one, right? Shin is number one. August is number two. Sicily 3 and she- What?! Sicily and Maria were top 4! Number 3 and 4- Wow! Okay, they are not a joke characters. I, I thought that they were talking big. Sicily and Maria, number 3 and 4 respectively? That is very impressive. <laughs> That's a whole ass eraser! That's an actual pencil eraser! <laughs> Alright, let's just fucking remove it. <laughs> eraser magic. <laughs> The, or the ordinary tongue again. The ordinary tongue. Enchantments in the ordinary language were something, right? He just write this shit in Japanese. Okay. Magic into kinetic energy. Whatever that means, man. Look at the enchantments. <gasps> Why? What's so special? What did he do? What enchantments? The great sage and the guru. They're so famous, man. Speech time. Speech time. Don't fuck it up. No pressure. In a healthy competitive way, not like a toxic way like Kurtz. The secret's gonna be out soon. <laughs> it can't be! That last name! Whisper, 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 whisper. Oh, he is so mad. He is so mad. He wanted to give the speech so fucking bad. What a loser. And... Speech skipped! Oh, I wanted... I don't know. I, I wanted more of like a... I don't know. I wanted like a cool speech and everyone's like, wow! But eh, it's not that important. We'll do it. One of the best speeches... I think one of the best speeches, entrance exam speeches that I've ever seen in anime... Uh, welcome to Demon School, Iruma-kun. Y'all remember Season 1, Episode 1? Unfortunately, that's not on my YouTube channel. I do have a backup file of it. It would take some time to edit. But, like, that was on my old channel. Unfortunately, Iruma-kun starts at, like, Episode 2 or 3 in this channel because that's exactly when my channel got deleted. But Episode 1, I'm not gonna spoil it, but, like, damn, that shit was peak. Of all the entrance exam, like, in, like uh, speeches, like, that shit was peak. Peak, man. Okay, our teacher, first class. My goodness! Googly Moogly, who is that? Bigger than Sicily! <laughs> What's up, Sicily? You wanna confess already? Gotta be Kurt, man. Kurt, 100% Kurt. Is he coming? Oh, Kurt, you got your 
She's not your. How do you talk to the man? Like this guy is unreasonably such a loser. It's like she doesn't even want anything with you. It's not like she's even going out with you. Like what the fuck? Ew. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. I didn't know this is like a political arranged marriage kind of deal. Fiance already. Okay. Is that true? Is that true? Is she just lying or is he... What is this? That's so crazy. So he tried to get engaged and she's like, Ew, no. And then he thinks that like, she's like engaged now. <laughs> what, a, what a just miserable, pathetic loser character. Yeah. Oh, oh, my father is gonna get your father fired, so you better be engaged. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Bro, can we just like get August Denka to be like, you know who my dad is? He's the fucking king. You do this shit, you're gone. Just like banish Kurt. Him and his dad, get them the fuck out of this kingdom, bro. Fuck their family. Disgusting, Kurt. What? You just threatened it. You, we can't do it either? <laughs> the worst part is, this isn't the end. He's gonna keep doing it. And like, yeah, he sucks, but like, trash like him also has a role to play. And I'm sure we're gonna get some kind of great, you know, revenge moment to just like dunk on his ass. Oh, it, it's, it's gonna get good later, right? Oh. もう可愛いな。ちょっと。あの目を見る限りまだ注意は必要だな。アグリード。ヒーズ <laughs> <laughs> That's like a Litten high. Uh, these names are so like European, huh? I mean, it is. Like, other names here. She's the only Japanese motherfucker. Why? Is this show Isaka? Oh, I didn't actually think about it. Like, Merlin. These are European lore. Merlin, right? The great sage Merlin. Yeah, it is. Augustus. Yeah, we. We are. It makes sense. Kurt, yeah, everyone's names makes sense except ours. Our first name doesn't make sense. He did die in episode one? What the fuck happened? It happened so fast. There was some sort of. Trakun. Trakun? Why can't I remember this? Salaryman truck. Yeah, hold the fuck up. There was Trakun. It happened really fast. And I made the joke of like, holy shit, Trakun's finally back. He was a salaryman. That's right. Salary man, and then he got nothing going. And then, and then Isika, and then he woke up, and then grandfather said, Yeah, yeah, that, that happened immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did forget. I was like, I did forget. I was like, What the fuck happened again? Salary man, truck kun, grandpa finding the carriage. I remember all the shit after that, but the initial Isekai part, it happened so fast, it just like didn't register in my head. <laughs> They're so like, I don't know, intimidated. <laughs> the guru reaction to Sicily. That's important. Meaning guru sees something special about Sicily. Okay. Or maybe the guru saw how big Sicily's titties were. Like grandson, like grandma. Ah, nah, it's not like that, right? Make Sicily's uniform cracked. So, you are worthy of Shin's enchantments. I don't really. 
すでに国宝級の防具になっているよ。Treasure Grade Protective Gear。I don't know the different grades or the hierarchies in this world, but this sounds probably really high up, huh? 防具になってるよ。何？これだけのファンタの制服に施そうとして。Are you worthy of that, Cecily? それを受け入れるか。私にはありません。Oh come on! 私は真君の優しさけてくれ。She's so nice. そう思いました。Oh. この子は強いから。は何の関係もないのに。I just realized. <laughs> Dude, I feel everyone got a spot here. <laughs> that these two, these two are just sitting in the standing in the fucking corner. They don't get an audience with the fucking, you know, Merlin and the Guru and the fucking game. They're like, nah, you sit, you stand in the fucking corner. This is yeah, y'all are not important for this couch. <laughs> the tear falling, the tear falling here. <laughs> Shameless. Shameless. Come back, Sicily. Oh no! Okay, this is like a test. There's like a pl it's like hidden meanings within hidden meanings. It's like, yeah, I was testing you. Yeah, if you just accepted it. I would have fucking kicked you out, but because you started to cry and run out, you passed the test. <laughs> Yo, Grandma Caravan, what the fuck was that angle? She's too innocent. <laughs> I, th I think we're getting to see a little bit of the true nature of the seductress, bro. This girl, the guru in her prime, Melida, man. She's a sinful woman, just like Endorsi in Tower of God. I use handsome men and throw them away. Oh, I'm such a sinful woman. She seems a little bit too kind too, probably, right? Cecily, I didn't think I was a bitch. I was just trying to help you. I'm just trying to help you. You're more than welcome to use me. Oh. Maria fuming right now. Actually, getting a hug with the own and only guru. Oh my god, Marie is like, No, please, can I get a hug too? <laughs> I'm gonna lie, that was a bit fucked up though. Like, that was pretty fucked up how they made Cicely cry. <laughs> and the grandma's like, Shit, I actually made her cry. I need to make up some fucking excuse right now. She never had this planned out. She felt bad. She's like, Oh, fuck. I actually made her cry. She's about to run away. I need to come up with something and be like, yeah, that was all according to my plan. Well done, Cicely. You may now cry. No, Shin. What? That's what she saw. How did Merida so? Because like during like the couch scene, right? And the different girls being shown frame by frame, then Merida was like, hmm. How would she know immediately? Yeah. Yeah, Merlin didn't get to do anything. Grandma just dominated the room the entire time. Granny really has taken a huge interest in Sicily. This is good. It's almost like, you know, Sicily's gonna be like. Uh, Melida's gonna be like the her mentor or something. This is actually OP. Hmm. Alright, let's erase it with our eraser pencil. It's national, like, treasure level or something. And your titties. Yep, they're vulnerable. It's too good. Exactly. It's a liability because it's too good. They want to use it then. Arms race. And that's what they were saying in episode one as if like, if we just let this kid out in the wild, this is terrible. Every nation, every different factions of powers are wanting to monopolize him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
This is like a convenient way to make sure that Sicily gets some protection, but the uh, OP suits aren't just shared to everybody. Uh, huh? <laughs> the king's like, yo, mine too. Yo, overwrite mine too. Come on, buy jacket too, please. Oh, really? Everyone got it. Okay, well, not everybody, but like, you know, our core group got it. They're all sparkling. Maria de well, I guess that's kind of like, damn, kind of based. But I wouldn't have declined, but like, all right, all right. Take you home. Ooh, we're going to be walking home together. Teleport. What? We're in the forest right now. Not teleportation, but connecting to places? I, I like that analogy here. With the paper, you see the two black dots, and you fold it and it's connecting it. I, I, I kind of understand what you're trying to say. Kind of. A wormhole? Well, that's today's episode of Wise Man's Grandchild. What do you guys think? It was pretty good. The entrance exam part? Too fast. I wanted more flex scenes, man. It, I, I, I know there, it was really funny. Like the, the stuff we got was hilarious. The guy, the wind magic guy, dancing. He might be the MVP of today's episode. I am. I'll fully give all credits to him for like best comedy moment. Cause like holy shit, his whole fucking tap dance, tap tap fucking. It was actually so good. Other than that, there's some weird ass shit going on with Kurt. It's it's not the end of him, right? Because like even if we save Sicily, Kurt's gonna come back and do some dumb shit. I hope that instead of us having to save Sicily, Sicily will just fuck Kurt up. That would be such a good way to just like get over him and you know boost her confidence. Maria's very interesting. Maria is obviously not as seemingly important as Sicily, but she did rank top four. And she even denied the enchantments. I don't know what they're planning to do with her, but it's kind of interesting like that. It's also our secrets out, you know, our friends and group. They all know, you know, who we're related to. They're like, oh my God, what's going on? Grandma is taking a special interest in Sicily. So this is probably really good. Maybe she'll be like an apprentice to the guru and they'll have like a great, you know, glow up. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.